for watching this video. This is Sheva from Bear Mix Journals over at Instagram. For today, I have a semi uh, craft with me and flip through of my latest design theme project for the paper cameo. So Nicola has recently released her um, kit called Arabella and I really, really love this kit. It's super fun, you know, um, signature the paper cameo colors very bright very bright bright vibrant and they contain a lot of the um envelopes that i love so much um i will um link my um playlist of the different projects that i did with the paper cameo and you'll see that i've used her envelope so many different ways and this time around i turned it into an ephemera holder so i will um, show you how i made one of the signatures here because it's just basically making those signatures and then putting them together and then adding in the ephemera that you want to include in it so i will see you um towards the end of the video where we'll do a flip through of this whole thing all right so this is the new kit from the paper cameo so nicola has um this new kit called arabella and it's a fun um digital kit full of lively colors a lot of them are william morris inspired but as you know um with her usual kits, she comes up with a lot of these pages where there's these beautiful envelopes. And that's um, what the project is going to be about. So what I have here is I printed them on, I always print my digital kits on thicker paper, especially if they're going to be ephemeral like this. So I printed them here. And then I also printed the background papers on regular copy paper because we are going to be using them to line our um, our envelopes. And then I also printed um, some in uh, what you call this transparent paper to make uh, a different kind of envelope, something that looks like this. And we'll try to see how this will look. Um, together with the rest of the ephemera holder that we're making and then I also printed the floral affair um, tags because these will go so so well with this Arabella kit the colors they just look really good together so let's um, go and make the project so I'll make one of the pages with you on camera and then I'll show you how to decorate and put them together. So we'll just cut these first as well as these and then we'll assemble them together. So now I've already cut the envelopes as well as the tags. Um, and all you have to do now is follow along the lines that are included in this ephemera to enfold them over to create the envelopes um, you can use a um, bone folder um, to you know reinforce the fold so that's what i'm doing here you just fold the different sides to make um, this super pretty envelope and i'm doing the same thing to the other envelope just following along the lines just make sure that you also check the back of the journal to make sure that you know you're folding in the right place um, and it's all symmetrical after folding the envelopes all you have to do now is um, de-stress the different sides i mean this is totally optional but it adds so much to the envelope and now i am um, constructing the uh, actual ephemera page so it's just a matter of lining up the folds um, the bigger folds the top folds of the envelopes and then gluing them together so that you'll make um, one whole page like this uh, if that makes sense you completely uh, glue one of the sides to the other envelope and then the other one will go to the back and that this one 
this one you don't need to glue all the way or you can as well if you want to but what i've done is just i glued it halfway so that it turns into a pocket on the other side and then this side you just glue all together i know it's a shame to cover this very beautiful um pattern but um this one you need to this flap you need to glue to the other envelope um to keep it in place so that's what i've done here um and make sure you follow this step instead of you know actually building the envelope because that's what i've done in the previous um pages that i put together so i completely constructed the envelope and then slotted in the flap inside the, uh the other envelope um if you can imagine what i'm what i'm saying um and that you can do it like that however it's going to be hard to put or place this lining so this time around i didn't glue the envelopes first so i just glued the flap together to make the page to turn it into one page and then i lined it with this beautiful background paper so that's what i'm doing here just making sure that um the the pieces or the side of the design that's going to show is what i like to show um so make sure that you do that uh, when you choose the lining inside so now i am just gluing it to the um to the area that will be visible because when we glue this flap the different sides down you won't see the edge of the um envelopes anyway so i didn't you know fully cover the whole page so i just went halfway if you can see here because you won't see the insides anyway it will be covered by the other flap so i'm gluing it down um gluing down the lining making sure that i can fold the flaps of the envelope to turn it into a pocket so now i'm just gluing the side flaps you don't need to glue the edges because um, this will keep them together this will turn into the pocket um, where you can place your ephemera so just glue all of the just halfway uh, of the sides and then that's pretty much it that's your um, one of the pages of the ephemera holder and that's where you can um, add your ephemera when you're putting it together so now i'm just folding it again in the middle it's going to be a little bit hard because you you know reinforce it with a flap and then you've added the lining so it's going to be a bit thick um but i i think i said this earlier at that i printed the envelopes in thicker paper um so that it's you know a bit sturdier as you're um, pulling out putting in different ephemera inside it so here i'm just reinforcing the tuck um the flap the outer flap that's going to turn into a tuck and now i'm just making sure that there's space it's nothing is you know glued down and i can actually add the ephemera inside so now i'm adding it in the middle and we are ready to bind um these this uh envelope ephemera holder i'm just adding in the embellished tags uh, that will be in the inside uh, or the outer and the front cover so here i'm showing you the other envelopes that are included in the kit if you want to make a taller you know taller ephemera holder you can totally do that as well so here i'm just showing you how you can add the different ephemera inside the ephemera um, holder in the pockets i'm just slotting in the different tags uh, you can add in of course smaller pieces as well that will go inside but these tags from the floral affairs kit just fit perfectly inside this envelope so that's what i'm using Then I'm also adding different ephemera from the Arabella kit um, that will also be included here. And now I'm showing you how to bind um, this ephemera holder together. It's very, very simple. I just did, you know, a single, I think, binding stitch in the middle. But um, so I guess it's similar to how I bind my journals. But I use, I think I use embroidery floss 
for this one i'll show it to you in a little while but yeah i'm just um i i added in i or i secured the different pages using these jumbo clips um i suggest you if you know if you're binding journals this is very very handy because it keeps all of the pages together so now i'm just choosing the color of the embroidery floss that i'll be using to bind this envelope ephemera holder and i chose this blue color that goes really well with, with the different colors of the kit and then i'm just going to use my owl to um puncture the middle of the journal to basically create a hole so that i can you know run through the thread um and i think i did a three three hole here yeah so i did three holes and then i just run the thread through it so now that you've seen how i put together the signatures and how i did the binding for the um for this ephemera holder i'll show you um the whole thing so this is the sort of cover and this is the back again it's all made from envelopes that we've um, put together and um added in some ephemera so this is the front part um, this label is from a different kit but also from the paper cameo and then this um, pocket is from the kit as well and then I just made this little tag um, also came, it also came from the kit then inside I just have vintage tickets and then this fun jumbo tag I backed it with craft paper, then I added this plate here in the bottom, and then added these two cutouts. And then for the danglies, I added, this is very fun. So, I, Nicholas envelopes always have these seals that are different shapes. There's circles, there's hearts, and what I did here is I just put two together, and I don't know if you can see it, but I um, put some of these glossy accents in, in the front and the back so that it's you know it's a little bit glossy so that goes in there the front page together with this and that hangs like that and then on the next page um we just have um uh, the first part of the envelope so this is also part of the labels kit i'll link it down below if you want to check it out this is from floral affairs so there's a whole page in there that has these tags so i added this here i just cut it out i didn't do anything to it so as not to add bulk to the journal 
this heart is part of the arabella kit as well as this pocket and then inside we just added another tag from um the floral affair uh, kit then i just added this playing card that goes with the colors that's the first page the second page this is from the arabella kit as well as this pocket and then we have another tag love those um daisies and then tucked here this is from the arabella kit and just some vintage labels and then here i just added that super super cute seal and then added these three flowers that are also part of the arabella kit so they just go in there it's like a little vase in my mind for those super cute flowers let me zoom you in a little bit all right sorry about that and then this is another page so we have a sort of talk spot here with these three labels that you can use all throughout the journal and then um, this is another tag from the floral affairs kit then this page i just left as is so that you can appreciate the beautiful lady that painting and then this is the middle part so here is where you can see the clear construction of the ephemera holder so you have these two envelopes that are um, attached together and then the binding is just in the middle and then you just line them with some of the background paper this is from i think um the cottage kit and then a tag from the floral affairs kit then more on the other side similar cutout this is actually a full page that i just cut out because i really love the flowers i think um the pink contrasted really well with the blue you know and i think um that would be a good you know addition whenever you're using this ephemera kit for your journaling or if you want to give it to someone then this is another top spot you know these ones are just the flaps of the envelope that we didn't glue down so that we can tuck something in there on this side we have one more page or one more tag from the floral affair and then an empty blue um tag that can be you know personalized by the new owner another flap pocket this time we have this heart that's part of the arabella kit and then this floral cut out hangs out there another vintage playing card and then another tag from floral affair then this is another fun pocket i just added one of these mini tags in there another one of those jumbo tags that come with the arabella kit with the seal danglies embellishments and then labels label with plate and then that heart cut out then the last tag from floral affair hanging out in there and then the back i have one more label more tickets and then the last embellished tag with the seal dangly so that's the last of them i hope you enjoy this um, mini tutorial um thank you so much for watching if you want to check out the arabella kit i will link it down in the description below um from uh, a link to nicolas etsy shop thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one
Bye.